everyone, Ryan Lilly here with Old Town. I'm at the Angler meeting following day two of the Bassmaster Kayak Championship. And man, what a day it was. A lot of mix-ups happened today out on the water. It was sunny, it was hot, and even though it was a little bit overcast, the sun did peak out and it was dead calm today, which made fishing really tough on a lot of anglers today. But there were some anglers that upgraded quite a bit today, and, and a lot of anglers that came out of nowhere that had a tough first day, had a really good second day, and vice versa, that really shook things up today. We are at the anglers meeting where they just announced the top 16. Uh, 11th place through 16th place, they're in the money. So they, they learned what place that they they ended up in. They, they're going home with a check. We'll talk to one of our anglers that is walking away with a check. Um, and then they randomly tell who the top 10 is, but they don't reveal that information until tomorrow at the weigh-in at the Cox Center, or the BOK Center in downtown Oklahoma. So make sure you stay tuned because uh, we do have some exciting news. One of our anglers did make the top 10. We're really excited to see where he ended up. All right, first and foremost, I'd like to call in Jimmy Thomas. You'll recognize his name from yesterday. He led the leaderboard yesterday in an impressive bag of fish. Jimmy, it's really nice to meet you. Um, I was excited to see you at the top of the leaderboard yesterday, selfishly because you're in a Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. It's really nice to meet you. I would love to hear how the tournament went for you. Well, it was a pretty good tournament. Um, my practice was terrible, and I was kind of upset about that because this is my home lake, and I always do fairly well here. And uh, the last day of practice at noon, I caught a couple good fish at the spot I ended up fishing, and I said, this is it. It's all or nothing right here. I'm not jumping around, not doing any of that. And uh, by noon on the first day, I had a really good bag, so I just quit, left that spot alone, and moved on looking for other fish. And when I couldn't sleep last night, I was in second, and uh, I thought for sure I was going to do it. Like, I honestly, in my heart, felt like I was going to do it, because th there was a lot of fish there. I showed up this morning, no fish. It was dry. And I ground it and ground it and ground it. I got five bites today, all right there, but that was all it was in. They were a lot smaller fish. The quality was not there. And uh, it just, it was a heartbreaker, man. I, but I'm happy to be here, happy to end up where I ended up. Love my old town. Man, I, I, I didn't pay you to say that. No, sir. That's me. <laughs> that's all me. But I'm, I'm glad you guys asked me to come up and and ask me how my week went. Well, yeah, man. I mean, you you ended yesterday with a 90 and a half inch bag. I think you were in actually, second. Actually, it was 92 and a half. 92 and a half. Yes, I heard, uh, yeah, 92 and a half. So you had that's a really the, big bag. That's yesterday. the biggest bag in kayak I've ever had. On which tournament which is incredible. So yes. you represented your home lake very very well. Um, you you went home today with a check. You were in 16th place. So it was a really tough day two grind but man you showed up and you showed them how it's done yeah I, I think i caught my last keeper today just a little afternoon and i never got another bite after that so but i didn't get my first bite till 10 and i had to change some stuff up yesterday i was catching them on an underspin and this morning they just wouldn't eat it so i just went to a solid swim bait just a jig head and swim bait took the blade off and uh ended up getting my getting my limit so well congratulations jimmy it's really nice to meet you and we hope to see you out there again appreciate you guys all right take care all right, so, you know, he uh, had a, a phenomenal day yesterday. Today, really had to scratch it out. And a similar story is our man here. Um, would love to hear, you know, how your day went, Garrett. Compared to yesterday, compared yeah. to pre-fish, uh, how did it go out there, man? Uh, honestly, this is the worst day of fishing I've had since I've been here. Um, very thankful uh, to be in a top um, 15, um, got 11th place, uh, but it didn't come easy. Uh, this morning, I went to a different spot that had bigger fish in it than what I caught yesterday. Unfortunately, I get there and uh, there were some guys sitting on it. They told me they'd sat there yesterday. I did appreciate them sharing that with me though um, because instead of wasting the whole day there I made a decision at you know 9 30 to go 30 minutes back to the ramp autopilot got me there in a hurry loaded up went around the lake dropped in where I was yesterday and um, when I put in over at the other spot I only had one fish 14 and a half incher 
there was a spot over in this area that I fished yesterday that I caught three fish in practice, caught three fish yesterday in this one little small area. And so I made the decision I was going to sit there the rest of the day. And if I got four bites, you know, that were bass, then maybe it'd work out. Um, I could at least have a respectable finish. I left just hoping to be re uh, having a respectful, you know, finish to this thing. I just didn't want to embarrass myself. Um, I ended up getting over there in about 12, 20 or so. I caught a fish. So then I had two. I go all the way until two o'clock and I've only got two fish. And uh, at one hour left. I had one hour left in the whole tournament. And I'm, you know, positive mental attitude, trying to keep myself focused. Caught a couple drum, a couple catfish. Um, but I ended up catching a 19 inch smallmouth. Really got the juices going. I'm like, okay, this could happen, man. This this might be a thing. I might pull it out. And then at 1220, right in the same spot, I caught another smallmouth that was 16 inches. And I hammered that spot for about 16, 17 minutes. Never got another smallmouth. Had a couple follows. I'd see them on live scope. I caught everything on live scope uh, this week, which the autopilot platform is perfect for those, um, you know, to, to mount those right in the center. Um, if y'all want to check that out, you can find me at um, Garrett Morgan Outdoors on Instagram. Uh, there's shots of my kayak and my setup there. Um, but that, that played a key role in everything I did. Uh, I rolled to a point with you know, 15 minutes left that led into this little pocket I've been fishing because the wind had just beat it up so much there in the last hour. I was like, there's got to be one fish up there. And I just cast it until I caught a 15 incher and got my limit. Was very happy to get a text to say come to the wards because I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. Uh, so very happy to be here and um, appreciate y'all following us along. And, you know, to add to the drama, what's incredible is you were tied for 10th place. Tied for 10th. You were tied yeah. for 10th. You're going home with 1200 bucks. Which, yeah. You know, you're covering your costs and maybe, yeah. maybe a little bit of pocket change, but explain the tie. How do they break the tie? Okay, so in tie breakers and kayak fishing, and I like this format, so I'm not sour about it. I'm, I'm a fan of this. They go by your big fish. Um, and I've heard that the guy has a 19 and a quarter, oh. and my big fish was 19. No. So it was it was that close. Yeah. Um, probably would have felt a little little less uh, sickening if he'd have had like a 21 or yeah, something right. like that. But just, uh, just kind of how it goes. Um, I had a great time pre-fishing. If y'all have never been the 10 killer and you're in the area you know, it's probably the best smallmouth fishing yeah. in Arkansas or Oklahoma area. Um, for me to catch big smallmouth like this, I always thought I had to go to Pickwick mm -hmm. over in uh, Tennessee, Alabama area or another Tennessee river. But man, there's some, there's some giants yeah. in this lake. It reminds me of the Northeast, the way it fished. Oh yeah. It was fun. Water. Yeah. Well, now that we're done with the tournament, I can give away a little bit of juice. Please. So I was, I was actually throwing a very small swim bait. Uh, I was throwing the spark shad uh, by, made by Mega Bass on a 1-8 jig head, yeah. and I was throwing that on a crappie rod. Unreal. Just, to get just so I, I that so I could get it out there and to get the action. Because yeah. if I could see a fish you know, and just sit there and wiggle it above its head as I came over, that seemed to trigger the bite. Yeah. Um, something that some of the guys said on stage, which I found true as well, those suspended fish, you could not get them to bite. Mm. Um, it was more fish that we were seeing on rock piles or like the one y'all caught on camera yesterday, yeah. I saw him sitting, hovered down on a stump yeah. and, you know, brought that swim bait by him and ended up catching him that way. So uh, live scope, you know, helped me find the bait yeah. in that other area where I was at at the end of the day. Um, I caught three fish yesterday in that same cove off of one ball of bait. Unreal. And then I went in there today and the bait wasn't in the same spot. And I probably made three or four circles just fishing before I found the bait. Yeah. And then once I found it, that's when I caught those other small amount today. Well, dude, congratulations. Well, Way thanks. Find it out and, yeah. uh, we're excited that you're walking home. With some Man, I, I hate I didn't make the stage so close oh. two years in a row. <laughs> um, but, you know. Goes I'll, to AOI points, though. That's true. Yeah. yeah so. Come dangerous. Well, no. this The championship doesn't count for AOI. Oh, that's right. But that's right. it's still cool to, yeah. to come to yeah. the kayak uh, championship and, yeah. you know, cash a check. I mean, there's some good sticks in this. This yeah. is kind of the best of the best. Right. So, right. Uh, like I said, I was just happy to get an invite to be here. Yeah. You know, when 
when your day starts off yeah. with one 14 incher and yesterday you know yeah. you did pretty well pretty early I had a 17 incher and another fish and um, to to find five fish and three of them be in the last hour dude I was thrilled I was just happy I was probably as excited as y'all saw me on camera yesterday <laughs> uh, when I caught the small mouth well, so I was pretty Gary. pumped Drive thanks thank y'all for coming man you bet you bet next I'd like to call in Drew Gregory um, he's one of the anglers that we don't know where he ended up but he had a couple of really strong days Drew hails from Ohio correct we know this much right here see this means I'm gonna be on the classic stage so we know heck that yeah, so heck yeah. congratulations yeah, thanks man way to way to grind it out uh, you might recognize uh, Drew he's um, no stranger to the kayak angling uh, um, space and he has been performing so well on the national stage he was angler of the year last year correct? two years two ago, years 2022. ago. Yeah, two years time ago. flies yeah so just give us a quick rundown of how your tournament mm -hmm. went and uh, how you ended up securing yeah. a top 10 spot yeah so uh, basically I just went to the river you know everyone knows I love to fish the river so uh, you know I had a great day practicing there on Saturday and you know, caught like a 20 and a half inch large mouth and a 19 and a half inch small mouth and realized this was where I was gonna live so I just uh, and I was joking on, on stage earlier just that our Airbnb was right on the road that goes to the river so I had to sit there you know Sunday Monday Tuesday and just watch everyone drive past and just constantly you know pre-fish and practice and, and, and beat it up which is fine but because I know not many people have a setup like I have so I was able to get a little bit further than everybody else and, and you know fortunately and I obviously catch some big fish which is laying to me right here so we'll see what happens tomorrow on the classic stage well with any luck we'll be able to have this conversation again and and uh, I, you know I yeah. have a pretty good feeling that you're gonna do very very well based on what we saw at the end of the day on the leaderboard you were you were yeah your bag at the end of the day like 90 and a half inches I, I know I was in the lead when it cut off but as you know if you follow kayak fishing that doesn't mean hardly right. anything it goes dark an hour it goes dark and some people don't even submit any fish until the board goes off because they don't have signal maybe or maybe they're sandbagging who knows but some people do and uh you know Guillermo and a few others are right there close on my heels so we will find out I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sleep well tonight I promise you that right well congratulations it was yeah. really good to speak with you uh, also it's worth noting that Drew represents another great American company Crescent so yeah. do you have any other shout outs you want to give um, not really. I mean, just I know you guys are supporting us with the Kayak Adventure Series too, so that's really cool. And I love Old Town, man. You guys are awesome. You got the best pro staff. I'm telling you, uh, I'm staying with a lot of your guys. I'm really good friends with a lot of them, and just the best guys out there. And they're doing such a great job representing your product. And obviously, everyone knows you guys make a great product. So thank you, thank good you job. very much. And uh, we'll see you. Yeah, tomorrow. man. See yeah. you. Take care. All right. All right. Next up, I'd like to call in uh, Anthony Garcia. Um, Anthony Garcia rode the top ten all day today. Hanlon from California, you had an awesome day today. I would love to hear, you know, the, how day two went for you and where you think you might end up. I mean, I'm hoping I stay in the top five. I had an amazing day. Uh, I found some really big fish towards the end of the day and just stuck with them pretty much for the last three hours of the tournament. Uh, I, I think from like one o'clock to lines out, I probably caught with between 20 to 30 fish. Uh, it was amazing, uh, just doing what I like doing, just casting the small swim baits, and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see where we end up tomorrow. I mean, you can tell by the grin, he's grinning ear to ear. Uh, he just, he pounded them today, and it was really fun to just hit refresh on Tourney X all day, and be, oh, he's still up there, he's still up there. You held your own all day long, and there's so many good sticks in this competition, and it must feel really good, you know, feeling rewarded to be you know, in the top 10 after having to drive from California out here to an unknown lake and to do as well as you did. Is there any shout outs or thank yous or anything you'd like to make? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got to thank my my girlfriend, Amanda. She's super supportive and letting me freaking go across the United States of America chasing largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Uh, my mom and dad, my little brothers, uh, all the rest of my friends and family back home. I mean, my phone was getting blown up today uh, because of that live leaderboard. It was pretty quiet. I couldn't look at it because I was too yeah. busy yeah. working, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no. And then all my sponsors, you guys. I mean, you guys are amazing. Uh, having you guys out there watching me catch that fish this morning—that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, no, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the year brings. Any luck, man? We're pulling for you. With any luck, we'll be having a, an awesome conversation tomorrow. Good yeah. luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Rest up, and uh, thank you so much yeah. for being here. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, I'd like to call in Dale Griffin. You know. 
Dale is a consistent angler. Whenever he shows up somewhere, he's usually in the top 20 at least percent. Love to hear how this tournament panned out for you and what was the make or break? Um, I, today, just something changed in the water where I was fishing. I, I don't believe that it was like weather condition as much. Just it had like a weird reddish tint to it. I don't know if there was an algae bloom or anything. Uh, talking with some of the anglers at the end of the day that started where I did, it seemed like everybody got the same same deal from that area. Just really nothing clicked. So midday I made a move and it didn't pan out. Well, it's just kind of weird. You know, we went from really cold on day, on the last day of pre-fish, really windy, rainy, just a nasty day to a sunny, nice day yesterday, dead calm pretty much. And then today it was cloud cover with some sun. It was hotter and it was dead calm. You know, that had to play a lot of games with the bite. Yeah. I mean, it was really props to all the fishermen that figured them out and because you weren't able to just figure out one pattern you were ha you had to move with your fish and it, it's hard to put something down that you caught fish doing to continue to chase a pattern or evolve that pattern and figure them out yeah well wh where can we see you next you know i know that you're uh you've got some plans so we'd love to hear about them yep luckily i'll be at uh texas bass nation on lake caddo next week and then i'll be pre-fishing pk and then pk the Bassmaster kayak series on pk coming up so awesome. i'm excited for two great lakes well thanks for being here really good to hang out with you as always, always. and drive safe man yep, yep take care all right i'd like to call in alan sweat or i'd like to call him tiger king at this point uh he's fishing out of the brand new autopilot fire tiger and man we could find you from across the lake it was pretty awesome can you tell me about your day yeah so the day started off pretty slow um i thought that the clouds and you know the uh you know the little bit of ripple on the water was going to make the fish a lot more active and man it just absolutely just was slow i had like two fish at like 11 o'clock and so i made a move um and across, you know back across the lake and went to a spot that really had some good potential i mean i caught eight or nine fish over there and just could not get the two big bites i ended up with like 80 something inches today but it you know i was just a couple fish short um last i looked i was like 30 something you know in the standing so it was just one of those days um one of the things you know the, the wind picked up in the afternoon and it was a channel swing with rocks i knew the fish were there and i just hit the spot lock button and i literally sat there for two hours and fished with spot lock i mean it's just awesome yeah. I mean, there's no way i could have done it without that i mean to be honest it, it's it's worth noting too i think we ran into you when you're doing your 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 location change and you had to bust across the lake and it was really interesting. I asked uh, our camera crew to put the drone up because it was dead calm. Yeah. And it seems like that's kind of a weird thing for this lake since it's so long and this is the, you know, the Midwest, it's a windy state. Yeah. I really think that that really, I mean, when it, the wind died completely, it was just the bite just, I mean, the bite completely died. It made it really tough. Um, I, I needed wind, I needed clouds and it just didn't, didn't, didn't pan. But you know, it's one of those things that's like, it, it, when it's your time, it's your time on these, on these kind of big tournaments. And you know, th there'll be the next one there. I'm just already looking forward to the, the, the next one. I'm going to do Possum Kingdom uh, here in Texas. And so looking forward to coming back out west. Yeah. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit, you know, warmer, more conducive to my style of fishing uh, in April. Well, so. I was going to say, man, I, I've said it a few times on the boat. Um, I'm super impressed with how you were able to travel from a, a shallow water fishery, large mouth predominant to a place you've never been deep, clear water. You're not used to that. Oh, and yeah. for you to finish top 40, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. That's that maybe. Awesome. Yeah. I was like, hey, what's a smallmouth? No, I'm just you know, <laughs> but it was fun. No, I got to catch a few smallmouth, which is awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just love it. It was a beautiful lake. The people here were wonderful. Very nice community. Yes. So just really just, you know, uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Just want to thank Old Town and, and for everything. It's just been great. Well, it's really good to see you. Really good to meet you in person. Yeah, good to and see enjoy you. that new Fire Tiger Kai. I'm going to do it. All right. I'd like to call in Casey Reed. Casey, come on over, man. <clears throat> Casey, um, you know, was really flirting with top 10 uh, with the money today. I mean, you put out everything that you had. I would love to hear about your day, your experience over this tournament and really what was the make or break. Yeah, so I mean, I had an absolute blast fish in the past two days. I mean, I caught so many fish and I definitely wasn't expecting that, but um, really I just, I was looking for, I had a big bite in there in practice and I knew there were some big fish around and I just never could get those bigger bites. I mean, everything was, was 15 to, I had an 18 incher today. That was my big fish. So just really locating where those big fish were. And maybe it was just the luck of the draw. I, they were around and I didn't get them to bite. I don't know exactly what happened, but, um, 
but I'm happy with kind of how it turned out. Yeah, I think I just missed a check, but um, but after the practice that I had to to put up what I did the past two days was was an absolute blessing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'd love to know from your opinion. You know, we've got some sticks that are in the top ten. Do you have any predictions as who you think is going to take this? Um. I think I think Drew Drew has it. I mean, he he had the water up that he was fishing up the way up the river all to himself. I mean, when you have untouched water, it's just it's just hard to to not do that well. Yeah. Yeah. You have any shout outs, any, uh, any parting thoughts before we wrap this up? Uh, I just want to thank all my sponsors. Um, big thanks to old town for, for being here, doing this, filming us out on the water. That was fun. Every time y'all showed up, I caught fish. So I was really stoked. You're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, I was, I was hoping you'd come back at some point today, but I never saw you, but I still caught fish though. But, uh, but, uh, but it would have made me feel better. So, you know. But, um, but yeah, uh, Dakota lithium, um, you know, fish us, say just all, all the sponsors hummingbird um they they really helped me out to to be on the road as much as i am so well, where can we see you next uh so next will be uh at the kbf at gunnersville um next i'm not sure when it is i've been on the road so much but um very soon and then we'll be at possum kingdom after that for the Bassmaster event awesome it was really good to see you casey yeah, it's always you, great man. to rub shoulders with you and uh safe drive home yeah thank you all right man <clears throat> so that concludes our um live programming if you will of the tournament until tomorrow where we'll come live from the results so we'll understand whether anthony um finished uh where he finished and what he he uh, is walking away with for a place. We're really excited to bring that coverage as well as uh, uh, an interview with the winner. So if you want to tune in tomorrow, um, tomorrow evening around five o'clock, we'll have the results for whoever won the title of Bassmaster Kayak Champion for 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in and following along all week. Again, uh, we're really excited about the new Fire Tiger Autopilot Special Edition. They're available now. And we'll be reporting live tomorrow from our booth as well tomorrow morning. We have some special announcements announcements for Old Town Watercraft, as well as another special announcement from Old Town Fishing. So please tune into our channels tomorrow. And if you're in the Tulsa area, just a reminder, our booth is 214. We would love to meet you. Swing on by. And if you want to learn more about Old Town, visit oldtownwatercraft.com.